Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. A couple of days ago, Apple hosted their WWDC for this year that is 2020. This time around, the event was completely online. There was no live audience, but frankly, it was better this way. Everyone could sit back, relax and watch the event and oh my god, Apple did an incredible job with the production of this event. The quality was next level, the transitions were insane, the drone work was magical, like it was so good, the production quality was very good and overall I prefer it this way. But anyway, there were a bunch of announcements at WWDC 2020. We obviously got software updates for iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS, iPad OS, etc. And Apple also surprised us with a very big move. So Apple is shifting away from Intel and they are going to manufacture their own chipsets for their Macs, which is incredible. And I think it's a step in the right direction. Apple has been very good with the chipsets in their iPhones and their iPads and also in their little watches. Like Apple has done a very good job when it comes to designing those chipsets. So why not do that for their laptops as well, right? That was a very good announcement. I will make a separate video about that and how all that will affect the Mac industry. So that video is coming really soon. Stay tuned for that. But today we are going to talk about iOS 14. So year on year, Apple keeps surprising us by the number of devices supported for their latest software. The list keeps on getting bigger and bigger every year and every year we get surprised by the last phone which has the support for the latest software. For this year, the list remains the same as the last year and it also gets the new phones. So yes, iOS 14 is supported all the way back to the iPhone 6s. iPhone 6s was launched in 2015, five years ago, and it still has the latest version of the software. It's not a security update. It's a full fledged software update, a major software update, and that is just incredible. So this gave me an idea. Why not install the latest beta version of iOS 14 on the oldest iPhone that I have? I did have the iPhone success, but that is being used by someone else. And I cannot just take that phone for making this video. But luckily I have the next best thing. And that is the iPhone seven. This is the iPhone 7 from 2016. It is four years old and runs on the latest version of iOS. That is just incredible. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into iOS 14 on this iPhone 7. All right, here we go. This is the iPhone 7 running on the latest version of iOS. That is iOS 14. Obviously, this is the beta version of this software because it is like just launched. So this is the first beta version of iOS 14 and it does have a lot of bugs. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the new features. There are not a lot of new features, but there are some which are really good and kind of makes iOS more like Android, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let me go ahead and quickly turn on the screen recording first. All right, so I have started the screen recording. Now, first up, let's go ahead and see the new wallpapers. So there are some new wallpapers, not a lot of new wallpapers. Let's go to the wallpaper settings and you can see that there are three new wallpapers up top. Now these wallpapers will dynamically change if you are into light mode or dark mode. So yeah, that's there. So there's this, you know, black and gray kind of thing going on, then a blue and green one, then an orange and teal one. I like the orange and teal. This was the one, this was the official one and it looks really good. So not a lot of new wallpapers, just the three and they look really good. If you want to download these wallpapers, I will make sure to drop a link to them in the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and check some really good features. First one is called widgets. So iOS now has these new widgets and it was finally time that Apple should launch widgets for iOS. 
widgets are very easy to use and very handy as well and apple has done a very good job when it comes to the implementation of these widgets you can add widgets anywhere on the home screen so there's one here there's one on the next page as well now one good thing about widgets is that you can have multiple widgets inside one widget area so you can have multiple widgets you can just swipe here and there and you can have multiple widgets in just one widget area which is just awesome so this is a feature that is a welcome upgrade and i really love widgets now how to add new widgets so just go into the jiggly mode click the plus icon and here we go there are a bunch of widgets that you can add i am hoping that there would be third party widgets as well like from whatsapp or some other email applications like gmail or even youtube for that matter so third party widgets would be awesome these are all the apple widgets none of them are third party widgets so maybe in the future updates we will see third party widgets as well next thing which is similar to android is the app drawer or the app library so apple likes to call this the app library app library will automatically segregate your apps into different categories for example utilities so these are all the utilities in your phone then you have productivity so these applications are categorized automatically and they are actually very handy so these categories are very handy and you can search for the app that you want now if you don't want to use this you can just swipe down and you will get all the apps in alphabetical order now this is one more very handy feature this should have been there a long back but finally it is here and it is a welcome update so apple has done a good job over here you will get everything alphabetically and you can just choose the app that you want to launch so this is the app library again it should have been there from the beginning but we know apple they take their sweet time in launching the features apart from that the music application has also been changed completely and i actually really like this update it was in time that apple would change the music application and they've done a very good job with the music application i use apple music on a daily basis and that's why i love this update to the new music application the next update is to siri so siri is not full screen now and that is excellent what is 21 times 142 is 2982 How many meters is 144 feet The answer is 43.89 meters So as you can see Siri is very minimalistic now it won't cover up your whole screen and that is just excellent So as you saw calls don't take up the whole screen now you can continue to do what you were doing and you can just ignore the call or pick it up right from there so it won't take up your whole screen so that you don't miss your content and that again should have been there from the beginning but it's taken a lot of time for apple to give us this feature nevertheless it's here and it's a good feature all right there is one feature that i did not talk about that is a live translation so there is a new translate app which will translate from one language to another without the internet it will do everything on device which is excellent so you can just type in your sentences or you can say it out loud and it will immediately translate it to the language that you have selected i can see how this feature is useful for tourists who go into other countries and cannot really understand the local language over there so this is a very good feature to have So those were the major things in iOS 14. Nothing exciting apart from this. Although there is one exciting feature with the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro where you can double tap on the back for a screenshot and also triple tap on the back for something else. That feature is not available on this phone the iPhone 7 and neither is it available on my iPhone SE. So that's a weird thing. Maybe it's available only in the bigger iPhones, maybe like the 10s, 10r, 11, 11 Pro, and those phones. I heard that it works with a case too, and that is very good. So yeah, those were the new features in iOS 14. I personally feel that iOS and Android, both of them, are very mature operating systems at this point. and we are not going to see major changes in these operating systems anytime soon so apple and google have come to a place where they are happy with their operating systems the consumers are happy 
and they might just add a couple of new features every year like they might also copy features from each other but that does not matter at the end us consumers are benefiting from it and i have no issues if you copy the right feature so anyway this was ios 14 on the iphone 7 do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below if you haven't yet please subscribe below it would mean the world to me my name is harsh punjabi and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye